Okay, about brands. I got you two. I couldn't get the brand that you wanted. Ari's ex-husband, Leandro, came to Ethiopia bearing gifts, including some new bras for Ari. Yes, bras. If you don't like them, it's, it's fine. I can get uh, the good ones next time. Awesome. Ooh, Benium's face says it all. I'm surprised Dude. still that you didn't forget his, his her you? size. Like, you know, just... And I'm surprised he's still smiling. Hey, Andro! This was Benium's first time meeting Leandro in person. And overall, it was awkward. I was very confused. Oh, goodness. Let's get into it. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Hey, Andro! We finally got to get a full look at Ari's ex-husband, Leandro, and see how they interact with each other. But Ari, she's so excited. She's running. She's, hi, 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 I'm gonna like something, just blah, 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 this. During this episode, Ari also revealed that up until she met Benyam and got pregnant, she thought she would eventually get back with Leandro, which just confirms that there might be some unfinished business here. But before we get into that... You never wear, like, a short, like, a dress where you wear shorts. <laughs> you, always, you always want me to wear a short dress. Ari made sure she was looking real cute prior to picking up Leandro from his hotel, which had Benyam feeling some type of way. This is when you do it, like, uh, your nail, like, for Leandro. No, baby, I want to look nice. So you look like uh, extremely nice today. Yes. Wow, I'm flattered that you're so jealous. What is your ring? At the nail salon, Benyam also noticed that Ari didn't have on her engagement ring, which she says she left at home by an accident. Maybe you shame for me, like, for myself, like? Am I ashamed of you? Yeah. I'm not ashamed of you, baby. The day that my ex happens to be coming, I happen to forget my ring. It looks bad. Benyam assumed that she didn't put on the ring because the ring is cheap. According to him, it's worth less than one US dollar. Don't look at me. I'm not saying nothing. I guess it's the symbolism that counts, right? Maybe. OK. Tell me what's going on. Are you frustrated? I don't know why you should do this. Well, Binyam went home and got the ring so she could put it on. Now let's fast forward to Binyam and Leandro coming face to face. Welcome to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hug, <laughs> hug. That hug was the first of many awkward moments. He doesn't look like he came from America. And speaking of first, Binyam shared his first impression of Leandro and said he looks like a nerdy guy, which I agree, but I personally don't think looking like a nerd is a bad thing. At least he's not out here trying hard to be cool. Are you excited to see where I live, where we live? How and... do you say yes in... No, I'm cutting. Ow. Ow? Yeah, ow. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow for learning I'm Harik in one week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can come live with us, then you will learn. Maybe you can come live with us, then you'll learn. Ari said, maybe you can come live with us, then you'll learn. <laughs> As you'll see throughout this recap, there are a few moments where Ariella randomly says something that makes the situation even more uncomfortable. Check out when Leandro was introducing himself to baby Abby. Listen to what she says. Come on, you want to see? Yeah. This is your uncle Hello. Andrew. Hello. <laughs> You could have had a baby like this, but you didn't, you missed out. He's so quiet now. Yeah, you're really comfortable with, with Andrew. Why are you so comfortable with Andrew? Look at Benyam, still trying to keep up that smile. The interesting part about it is I don't think she's doing it to be hurtful. The comments are just slipping out. You could have had a baby like this, but you didn't, you missed out. Which is why I am not for hanging out with my partner and my ex at the same time. Nope. It's too many gears to switch for me. I would really have to watch my mouth. Okay, break he wants to break. try the, the, the glasses. <laughs> oh, wow, he's so quiet now. The tension was so thick in the room, Benyam was over here fumbling the glasses, and he also seemed salty about Leandro holding his baby, which I would be too. Leandro, I've been out for the I don't think so. Avi, he's happy like when he's hugging him the first time. Magnetum, I'm the father. Like a guinea, Manalot Leandro. 
እንደገና የእንጀራ አባዝ ሆናሉ ሁሉ ያሰበም ሊሆን ይችላል ታውጂ ሳቲ ባሪ ዞን ገ ጃብ አይ ኪፒንግ ኢትስ ኮል ዳንስ 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 ቤቢ ኩል ዱ ዩ ቲንክ ዩ ዊል ቢ አብል ቱ ኪፕ ዩር ኮምፖዘር because i would have said something a long time ago right here and you can come live with us Ooh, can come live with us <laughs> <laughs> anyway let's get into the gifting portion of their day aka when leandro pulls out the bras but he's only been here an hour and i can already tell there's some passive aggressive tension beneath the surface <laughs> my god <clears throat> anyway oh That was uncomfortable. Okay. So, you want me to get you uh, your stuff? Leandro opens his suitcase full of gifts and things Ari asked him to bring. You know, you can't get yeah. a lot of stuff in Ethiopia. The best. My favorite of the best. Is there, yeah, you? that is mine too. Leandro gives her toothpaste and then he pulls out the Oh, okay, about brass. I got you two. I couldn't get the brand that you wanted. But they are about the same thing, I don't know. you make your judgment <laughs> if you don't like them it's it's fine i can get uh, the good ones next time awesome no worry my girlfriend pick them <laughs> benium space right here is priceless and his girlfriend what don't tell me there's another woman involved in this is your size so or- I'm so yeah. surprised still like, you didn't forget his, his her you? size like you know just Ari eventually explained what was going on here which is that she's breastfeeding and she needs new bras so Leandro brought them because she couldn't find any good ones in Ethiopia to be honest at first I didn't think him bringing her bras was a big deal but then I thought about it if my man had an ex who gave him boxers or even an undershirt you're giving those back you're not wearing those around me ያንድሮ ይዙት የመጣው ስጦታ በጣም ተገብ ያለው ነው ስጦታ ደም ምክንያቱም ቤንየም felt like Leandro bringing Ari such an intimate item was inappropriate and says he doesn't accept it but he did accept the speakers that Leandro gave him oh she's for you. music stuff yeah music stuff and thank you and that is all for Santa Claus for for now thank you so much for everything just Yeah, next time I could get you some things from martial arts because yeah, yeah. I know that is is much cheaper in the US it, and it's easier to find this stuff. This screen grab right here says a thousand words. Ari looks like she's an old Leandro and Benyam looks like his pride is shot and he's stressed. You too like guys you your relationship is wonderful. But then Benyam asks the question that we all want to know. which is something Ari has been asked before but I don't think we ever got a clear answer. I think having Benyam and Leandro to answer in front of this time made a difference. Why you do a team not just together? Why we broke up? We never actually broke up. It was I like, just never came home. Yeah, it, it was like a decaying uh, experience. I told Leandro that I would move with him to Indiana. But then I decided I wanted to travel the world. I know that Lander had it in his mind that I would come back. In the back of my mind, I also thought we would eventually get back together again. That's why I didn't want to break up with him because I was sure this was just like a hiatus. And then I met Vinya. She was married to Leandro from when she was 19 to when she was 29. Those are prime years, so she wanted to explore herself outside of being in a relationship with him. And she's definitely doing that. just based off of the tears that are about to flow down her face i'm not sure if she's truly at peace with the decision she made because i didn't want to lose you i wanted to keep the option open maybe that if if this new life that i was thinking about didn't work out i could go back to the life i was comfortable with which is that because i didn't deserve that and i'm sorry i actually yeah. feel super bad about it i was very confused I don't I don't hold grudges. Uh, that makes me sad because I don't know. I just feel like a person. You would think that because they are best friends and they talk all the time that they would have had this conversation before now. But obviously not. Even still, why have it in front of Benium? Their day together from what we saw seemed like Ari was remembering why she fell for Leandro in the first place. And Benium 
was just there, constantly trying to hold on to that smile. It's gonna be interesting to see how they continue to juggle these emotions. Ari, I don't know how you're doing it, girl. My heart goes out to you. Come on. Next week, Leandro and Benny get physical. Leandro, I think Larry is still feeling a little bit like that. Is he a girl? I met him yesterday. Benyam, he said stop. Isn't that what slapping the floor means? He was really choking that man. <laughs> all right, 90 Day fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.